Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to complete the new Season 3 Reloaded Dark Aether Easter Egg for Modern Warfare Zombies, which takes place at Zarqua Hydroelectric, which has the most amazing skybox. Before we jump in though, please subscribe to the channel because your support really does help grow the channel and the community, and it makes me smile when more of you subscribe. Thanks! Okay, so let's begin. Firstly, all zombies have been buffed in this update, so you may find that everything is much harder to complete now, unless you're a hardcore zombies player, in which case this will be easy for you. This is a multi-step easter egg though, which is better to do across 3 or 4 matches so you have time to prep for each step. The first step requires you to complete the brand new Act 4 story mission called Union, which can be started by going into the Tier 3 Red Zone in Urzikstan. Head over to the small portal that is in the garden slash market area to begin with. Once you're in the story mission, you're technically in a tier 2 zone, so with an epic or legendary ether tool and a pack-a-punch level 2 weapon, you should be fine. However, I always recommend that you go into each match with all the highest gear possible. A legendary ether tool and a pack-a-punch level 3 weapon will make short work of all the zombies. I do suggest that you have a few self-revives as a precaution though. Once the story mission starts, you need to follow Ravanov through Hydroelectric and go north to the storm. Once you get there, you need to then locate two orbs that fly around the map. Shooting them will get them to crash land into a big ether crystal that you can then investigate. Do that for each of the two crystals and you'll see a code appear in front of the crystal. Now what you need to do is you need to find that symbol somewhere around the map and then shoot them in the order from left to right. The symbols will be close by to the crystal but they may be awkward to find and I think they do differ each match but if you turn your volume up you can actually hear them the closer that you get to each symbol. If you shoot them out of order, you'll need to interact with the crystal again and start over, but don't worry too much about finding them, as when you interact with the crystal, you'll see three orbs of energy fly off in the direction of where the symbols will be, so try and concentrate when you interact with the crystal. Do that a second time with the other crystal, and then you'll need to head back over to Ravanov, and you'll see Dr. Jansen on the floor. When you get close, Jansen will start to levitate into the air, and then you'll have the objective to cleanse three seals. Head to each seal and interact with it, and then you'll be inside a kill box. You'll need to kill zombies inside of the ring of energy to further your progress. Once you get to that final seal to cleanse it, it will spawn a disciple boss for you to fight which is quite powerful. When fighting the disciple, make sure to keep an eye on the health bar at the top of your screen. When it turns grey, it means it cannot be damaged and you'll have to kill the highlighted boss that it spawns in order to be able to damage the boss again. Make sure you keep getting headshots and you'll be able to take the disciple down fairly quickly. Once you've killed the boss, a reward rift will open up and inside will be an ultra rare giraffe toy. Take it and keep it safe. Now you can continue the rest of the mission, which is essentially just running towards an exit rift with Jansen and Ravanov. Now here comes the fun part. I highly recommend doing the next few steps across multiple matches, purely because everyone is trying to do this easter egg right now, and it's actually quite annoying having other people get in your way and slow you down. So if you do this across two games like I did, it should be a lot more chill, rather than stressing over if you'll finish it in time. So now we need to collect three additional items. The first item we need to get is a science journal, which you get from killing zombies inside the ether storm with a wonder weapon. Now a quick tip here is to make sure the storm caller disciple boss that is inside the ether storm doesn't die, because it will keep spawning zombies in for you to kill. If the storm caller dies, you'll have to attract zombies from outside the storm to follow you back inside, which is super annoying and it takes ages to do. You'll need to kill around 30 to 50 zombies inside the storm by using a wonder weapon. Apparently the exact figure is 50, although I'm not sure I actually got 50 kills myself. Once you've killed enough zombies, a reward rift will open up and inside will be an epic rarity science journal. Take it and keep it safe for later. Now moving on we need to find the imaginary friend drawing, which is located in this house in the southeast corner of the map, north of Raha Island. A little tip here is that if you have the death perception perk active, you'll actually see footsteps leading up into the house and where the item can be found. Just go upstairs and go into the bedroom to the east and interact with the toy box underneath the bed. A reward rift will open up and you'll be able to take the epic rarity drawing. It's also worth noting here that this house tends to always be a mercenary stronghold, so if you don't have a keycard on you, I'd head to a buy station and buy one because they only cost 2000 points. Lastly, we need to get the laptop with stickers item, which is super annoying. You need to kill a mercenary sergeant with a friendly dog. Now, you can either use the dog bone schematic to call in a friendly tier 3 dog, 
or you can use one of the dog houses to get a dog by offering pieces of flesh to it. Dog houses spawn all around the map, but I found the dog house on the south side of the map is a pretty good place to go as there's usually mercenary camps nearby. You can get pieces of flesh by using explosives against zombies, so throwing a Semtex or using the RGL rocket launcher is a good method of blowing up zombies. You only need one piece of flesh in a tier 1 dog house to get a friendly dog, so it doesn't take much work to get that. Next you'll need to head over to a mercenary camp, and firstly, destroy the counter UAV that flies around, because otherwise it'll distort your screen. Once you've done that, kill all of the mercenaries except for the sergeant. The character models do look slightly different to each other different types of mercenaries, but they can be hard to spot, so watch for the health bar above their heads, as that tells you what kind of mercenary they are. Kill all of the mercenaries except for the one sergeant that will be there so your dog can focus on attacking them. I would try and stay behind cover as even though your dog will be attacking them, the sergeant still seems to focus fire on you which can down you pretty fast. Once your dog has killed the sergeant, you'll get a reward rift with an epic rarity laptop inside. Now we move on to the most annoying part which, as I've said before, save yourself the headache and do this across multiple games you'll need to take all three epic rarity items and trade them for ultra rarity versions instead, inside the tier 3 red zone. You can convert these three items from epic to ultra in any order, but this is the order that I did it in. Firstly, head over to where the new story mission rift was, and you should see on the floor that there's this triangle symbol similar to the ones we saw in the story mission. Each side will be facing a glowing symbol on a wall or surface, all you need to do is shoot all three symbols in whatever order you want. Once you've shot all three symbols, you'll see part of the map will be lit up with a large glowing symbol, and if you stand in the right place, it'll form a triangle. Head over to the ledge near the small buildings and jump onto the beams across the walkway and you'll activate the first kill box. You'll then need to stand in a certain place to offer the first item to the orb that appears near the kill box. Getting the position right can be tricky, but you just need to move around slowly to find the right spot. Kill as many zombies as you can, and after a while, a super hellhound will spawn in. Now, this isn't like other hellhounds, it has an insane amount of health, so if you still have a friendly dog, it'll come in handy here. Once you've killed the dog, a reward rift will open up and you'll have an ultra rare science journal. Next, head over to the large dome building to the east of the tier 3 zone, and find the triangle and stand inside it, and look around for the three glowing symbols on the walls. Once you've shot all three to activate them, head up onto the outer wall of the dome and stand in this position to see the triangle and activate the next kill box. And remember to stand in the right space so the prompt will come up to offer the next item to the orb. Again, just try and kill as many zombies inside as you can, and after a while, a super mangler will appear that you'll need to kill. The trick here is to just keep running around as fast as you can to maintain distance. Once he's dead, a reward rift will open up and contain an ultra rare drawing. Lastly, you'll need to go to the little street slash marketplace area just below the eastern dome, and again, stand in the triangle and look around to find the three symbols on each of the walls. Once you've shot all three, Head up to the roof of this building and position yourself to form the last triangle and the kill box will activate. Standing in the doorway seems to bring up the prompt to offer the last item as well, but again it can be a bit annoying to find the right place to stand in. Once you've killed enough zombies, a super mimic will spawn and just like the others it takes forever to kill, but if you head to the very top of the roof, the mimic can't actually reach you so you should be safe-ish. Once the Mimic is dead, you'll get a reward rift open up, and inside will be an ultra rare laptop. Now you should finally have four ultra rare items. You should have the giraffe toy, science journal, imaginary friend drawing, and laptop with stickers. Now head over to the new Dark Ether portal that is in the first triangle location, and look for the four pedestals in a circle around the center of this area. Interact with each one and place the corresponding item inside each pedestal. There will be an icon on the bottom of each pedestal, so you know which item that you need to put inside it. Once you've done that, get ready for an insanely difficult boss fight. Again, just to reiterate here, if you're a hardcore zombies legend, this will be easy, but I kept running out of ammo, which made this boss fight last for way too long. Eventually, a larger team came over and helped me defeat it, but without them, I would have probably had to start all over again. Once you've placed all items on the pedestals, a larger Dark Aether portal will appear, and once you interact with it, a Disciple boss will spawn. Now, if you have a team with you, and you all open fire straight away, dealing headshot damage, 
you could probably kill this boss quite fast. However, if you're slow like me, he'll spawn a Mega Abomination that you have to kill before the boss can start taking damage again. If that happens, kill the Abomination as fast as you can, but make sure you know where the boss is, because it'll fly around, and I actually couldn't find the Disciple on several occasions, which gave it time to spawn in another Mega Abomination. In total, I think I fought about 5 Mega Abominations, and it was exhausting. However, once the Disciple boss is dead, a Reward Rift will open up and have a Sigil inside. You can now take the Sigil and use it on the portal to travel straight to the new Dark Aether. Or you can save it for later and exfil and have a cup of tea. I definitely recommend that option. But that's the easter egg done. Once the boss fight is over, the Dark Aether is unlocked for you permanently. Also remember that any sigils or elder sigils that you find can be used on any Dark Aether portal. They're not restricted to specific Dark Aethers. The new Dark Aether is pretty good, but now that zombies have overall been buffed, it's much harder than before, so be careful going in alone. Anyway, that's another Dark Aether Easter Egg finished. Let me know what you think to this Dark Aether in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching my videos. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And don't forget, if you want to buy me a coffee, consider joining as a channel member for a month. I really appreciate all your support and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.